Well, good morning from Clark Adventure Tours. This is part three of our video on how to make an Adirondack chair style chair. I think that name is probably trademarked or something, but anyhow, this is your own chair. This is uh, whatever your name is. Mine's a Clark Adventure Tours chair. Yours is a, you know, wackadoodle Adventure Tours chair, whatever. Anyhow, the whole point is you're going to get to make it and then enjoy it. And it's yours, your design, everything. So this is Christmas Eve, 2016, and I'm up a little early. Everybody's still sleeping. It's uh, up here in Pacific Northwest, Marysville, Washington. We are got a nice layer of snow that's stuck, which is real pretty outside, and although it's kind of warm in my shop here, which is nice. And we're going to get started. So in a minute, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this next step in this frame where I'm going to use a uh, pocket hole screw to connect it. You don't have to. You can very easily just put a screw through the end where you have it here. But uh, a glue and, or whatever, you could even glue it, screw it, and put little brackets in there if you want. But uh, that's not what's going to be holding your entire chair together, so it's not crucial that that's the... Uh, you know, that supports 300 pounds or whatever. Because remember, eventually you're going to have braces that go across the top for your seat. Those are all going to screw in at the ends. So that's all going to fortify all this. So anyhow, uh, I'm trying to keep my videos a little more short and sweet. So we'll take a pause. And when I return, we will get started on drilling those holes out. So I'll take just a minute and explain to you. There are options with the pocket hole. It's made by Craig, K-R-E-G. Craig, you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, woodworking stores sell them. And the basic little single hole kit is, it's this little guy here. Comes with a drill bit, very sharp drill bit, and a little collar that adjusts for the depth. And you see the way that that's lined in there. So when you put this up against the wood, Put this up against the wood where you want the hole, and then you drill it and you, you clamp it down, and then you drill this. This goes in at an angle, and it drills in. When it goes through the other side, you see if this is straight, it goes through, drilling through at an angle, creating a way for the screw to come in at an angle and attach to another piece of wood. It makes a very strong joint. Um, as an example, this is like a little art frame I wanted to make, but you see the screws, they drill at an angle and they stick into this piece of wood here. And then when you're done, it's extremely strong, doesn't show any screws on the outside. Yep, they have special screws that come with them, uh, but those are, uh, those are pretty easy to get. I don't have any handy, but and then you have to get a special driver for them. But this stuff, and I think this was actually included in this kit also. And it's just a driver. It's just there's little square head screws. They're not very expensive, but it's it's really awesome way to make your joints. So I'm going to use this little single one here in a minute. I'm going to clamp it in place, and then uh, make my hole. So stand by. Okay, well, I decided that instead of using the single, I actually have this other setup that it allows you to drill multiple holes at a time because I, I do use this a lot. I'm trying to show it to you. So, let me, uh, so the idea with this one, if we get that set there, the idea with this one is that you decide the depth you want and this is adjustable so I can pull this out and I can adjust this to however far I want it depending on the depth of the wood and then you set this to up here locks it in place and then I drill in and it's precise drill in there drill in there it's actually got three slots and this thing is like 150 bucks. Uh, I mounted it to a board, and I use it all the time, and I love it. But if you're not really into doing a bunch of pocket hole joints, 
no need to get something like this. It even has a little attachment for your to uh, put a vacuum hose on it and take away all the dust, which is pretty handy too. Anyhow, I'm gonna drill some holes and then I'll get back to you. sure you're doing it on the right side make sure the same same side we want both these to be inside joints and line it up okay get another one want to be real careful about nails when you use this it's very sharp and there's because it's sharp and it's so precision it really cuts well but if you hit a nail and get a little chunk in there it's no good so the idea now is that when we get this fitted to where it's supposed to go I'll probably get knocked if I want to go. okay the idea here I don't have the measurement yet, but well. But the idea is that you'll get, let's see if I can, sorry, just making him dizzy. But you see the screws then go in to here, and there's a hole, so you have to find, there is a little pilot hole there, I found it. You see how that screw's set in there? Gonna go right into this piece of wood and when you have two of those in there plus a little glue that sucker's not going anywhere so that's a pocket hole the other way of course is like i said you could just drill some put some screws put some screws through there all right pause Isn't it exciting? Sip. That's good. All right. It's a little bit of glue. So you have to glue both sides. I don't see the reason. The glue gets there anyway. And I've never had anything weird or bad happen. Because I didn't just on both sides. What I do though is I use my finger on here and I don't know which side I'm putting this on. I'll just wipe that off on there. So now take this like such. Set that there. Then I realized that I did not put the bit on my grill yet, but that can be easily fixed. And you want to set your clutch fairly low for these screws. And I forgot to normally get them started first. So it is kind of tricky getting them in that little hole. Down there, because there's a little pilot hole at the bottom. There, now I got them both set in the pilot hole. Now I can get this. I want to see have this nice and square. Sometimes I will take a square and I'll I'll make sure it's perfect. But this stuff sort of sorts itself out. So let me just get this that way. It looks good. Hold a little 
better. They do make some really nifty uh, clamps that are just for this. There we go. That's it. Oh boy. I'm setting my clutch a little bit slower. Hope it's right on the drill. Let's try that. There we go. Find the meter. It's a little tricky getting the, once you got them in there. Just draws it in and makes it just just lovely, just lovely. Sip. All right. Well, sometimes I try stuff that's kind of goofy, and I'm doing this because I want the camera angle. But and by the way, I sanded these down a little bit at the ends because the wood's kind of was old and dirty and everything. I I sanded a little bit so the the glue will take better. But. I've got it propped up on the other end here so that I can do this. Let's see here. Get my glue. This time I'll just wipe that on that. Okay. This might be a little funky, but let's see. Balance it, balance it, balance it. Okay. And if you remember from the other video, this is the piece that was kind of wonky because it has the and is chipped off so I drilled my two holes offset to make sure they bite into the good part of the wood get this all nice and set there all right and then I'm going to get a screw and I also didn't Pre-line my screw, did I? Get it set in there. But here we go. Oh, this is probably boring. It's a boring ass video. Sorry. Okay. Anyhow, here we go. So get it lined up. Put in this good. Ooh. All right. Well, that at least is where I want it to be. I can tighten it in a minute. Get another screw. And I could have clamped this also, but. Like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm being a little goofy. So, all right, for now, let's see here. Put the square there. All right, let's see. I've got a funny angle, so I'm not. There we go. Just there. there we go. There we go. That's the, that's the sound of the that's the sound we're looking for. All right. Okay. So now, now we can lay it back over. And that piece, this piece was just holding it up. first part. So this is, and this glue dries, I'm telling you, this is going to be solid as a rock. <laughs> heavy too. <laughs> Maybe don't use such heavy, this is like oak or something, I don't know, but it's really heavy old piece of wood. But, but that is solid as a rock. So now we're next thing we're doing, we're going to take our measurements and remember if on our magic drawing board we talked about I don't think we talked about how back how far back the seat was but um, you can decide that I'm gonna make mine I think I go about 18 inches so from the end here I believe it's a good idea a good idea 18 inches always seems to be a good number, if I recall, to set that piece back. So, take that, put that in there. 
with my arm. I know this probably allows a camera angle, but we will line the edges to the edges. And really what I need to do is take my square and draw a proper line so it's just looks exact, but um, but you get the get the idea. So I'll glue and screw these two in and then I'll be back. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right. Probably the best if if you're brand new in the workshop and you haven't been doing this for a long time or making stuff, go buy a good speed square. This is a Swanson speed square. They make all different kinds, but make sure you get one of these. Metal's better than the plastic, uh, and these are great. There's so many things you can do with it. Look up videos on speed square uh, tips and tricks, and there's all kinds of things you can do to find angles. But the most important thing is you can always draw a straight line across at least a six inch space and I have a bigger one that goes to 24 inches and it's been real handy over the years and you just make sure that you get nice and square and then you can really look at your line and maybe get a nice and square so it's also good for the inside square you check you put it inside each one and you can see and the one the joints we made earlier are perfectly square make sure these are square Good stuff. All right, little glue here, little glue here, little glue here, little glue here. All right, let's get these suckers into place, and I'll show you the next thing I like to do when I do this part, because I have the advantage of having everything lay on the ground. And figure it out. Okay, one thing I'll do is I'll go and. Check everything square, and that is square there, square there, and I like this. All right, take my clamp, and get a good clamp on it. Clamps are great. When you ask for something for Christmas or Father's Day or Mother's Day or whatever, birthday or whatever, ask for clamps. You can never have enough clamps. Um, you see up on the rack behind me, I made this little rack for them so they can always grab tons of different clamps and you can never have too many. Um, but what that's going to do is, that's going to help me out a lot when I go to put these screws into place. So. They're a little tricky with sometimes to get the right angle. But let's see here. There we go. But we know it's square. watch the video until we get it. But, uh, can't really see the screws anymore. So, uh, there you are. That's at the weird angle. That's the place we want. Alright, I won't make you watch the rest. Alright, once you get the screws in, which I got them all locked in, take your clamp off, put it back up on the rack. And now, dun 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 we have our frame. All right. So, well, it doesn't look like much of a chair yet, does it? However, once we get it like this, once we get it like this, and then we have a piece that goes, I use my drill sometimes. So once you get like this, get a piece up the side, and it's gonna start looking like it's gonna start looking like it for sure. All right, well this has been kind of a long video, so that's the frame. Once you get that built, you'll be in time to tune in for the next video for part four. Anyhow, this is December 2016, Christmas Eve. 
Have a very Merry Christmas. If you're watching this just at the exact same day I'm posting it, which I doubt you are. Anyhow, have a great one from Clark Adventure Tours. Out!